Today, there have been three instances of targeted attacks by terrorists in a matter of just uh, three days. In fact, a policeman was shot dead by terrorists inside his home in Jammu and Kashmir's Baramula district. And on Monday, a migrant labourer, Kuldeep Singh from Uttar Pradesh, was killed in Pulwama. Parmesha, on Sunday, a police inspector was shot and injured in Srinagar. Masroor Ahmed Awani was shot thrice on Sunday while he was playing a cricket. We have our colleague Nazir joining us on the phone line. Nazir, a third targeted attack in a matter of just three days. In three days, three attacks and two targeted attacks and also in three different parts of the valley. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, gunmen barged into the house of uh, Gulam Ahmed Dar, head constable of Jammu and Kashmir Police in Wailu Kural area of Kubarabula district. They shot him from point blank and he was taken to hospital in a critical condition by doctors declared him brought dead. Uh, so early on Monday, there was a migrant worker who was killed in Pulwama and on Sunday, a police inspector, Masood Ahmedwani, was uh, critically injured after he was attacked in Idga area of Srinagar. So clearly these uh, target attacks have resurfaced. Militants are trying to send a message that they can... Uh, carry out such attacks at a time when the police and the government have been saying that militancy is at its last leg. Very few boys have joined militancy over the last one year, which is the huge, huge change in the ground situation that police have been saying. But uh, it, is a, it is a challenge for the security force now how to deal with this new wave of targeted attacks in the valley, where now we see two policemen were targeted in last three days and a migrant laborer also being killed. Um, it, is, it is a tragedy for the families besides the, you know, what we talk about, militancy, counter-militancy. Look at the family of the Gulam Ahmed Dar head constable. He survived by his wife and six daughters and he was a sole breadwinner for the family, whole family. So imagine the tragedy, imagine the, now the uh, the uh, difficulties the family is going to face. Uh, one precious life has been cut short in this uh, tragic attack. There's a you know condemnation from all the you know sides. Every political party leader they have condemned, and police have vowed to track down the attackers. But the attacks have resurfaced now. Three attacks within three days, and uh, the latest one is the police head constable was killed inside his home. Right, uh, thank you Nazir for bringing us those details like Nazir was pointing out uh, three attacks in a matter of three days.